Hey! Today's video is one that I'm very pumped for. Stain by A.G. Howard. After Lyra, a princess incapable of speech or sound, is cast out of her kingdom of daylight by her wicked aunt, a witch saves her life, steals her memories, and raises her in an enchanted forest disguised as a boy known only as Stain. Meanwhile, in Lyra's rival kingdom, the Prince of Thorns and Night is dying, and the only way for him to break his curse is to wed the Princess of Daylight, for she is his true equal. As Lyra finds her way back to her identity, an imposter princess prepares to steal her betrothed prince and her crown. To win back her kingdom, save the prince, and make peace with the land of night, Lyra must be loud enough to be heard without a voice and strong enough to pass a series of tests, ultimately proving she's everything a traditional princess is not. So if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking, uh, Cameron, I don't think that book is out yet. And it's not. And this is not an art copy. I was at this bookstore that I go to sometimes. I'm not gonna say where, because I don't want them to get in trouble. But I saw this book on the shelf and I was like, oh my gosh, that's not supposed to be out yet. I actually found it back before Christmas. Um, and so I see it and I grab it. And when I go to check out, the computer malfunctions. And I'm like, crap, I've been caught. The computer knows it's not supposed to be out yet. And the guy was like, hmm, that's weird. I've never seen this happen. So he takes me over to another uh, checkout place and he's going to check me out. And the whole time my heart is just going because I was so sure I'd been caught because I was just going to play dumb if they said it wasn't supposed to be out yet. But I did manage to get it and I read it all in a day. And it's not a small book. The cover is gorgeous. It's very similar to her other books her Splintered series, and which is Alice in Wonderland inspired, and Roseblood, which is Phantom of the Opera inspired. But what sets Stain apart is it is not a retelling of any fairy tale that I recognized. And from what I've read on the internet, I don't think it's a retelling of anything in particular. It's also purple, which you may have noticed is my favorite color. A.G. Howard is an author that I adore. That's why I had my eye on this book and why when I saw it I knew it wasn't supposed to be out yet, which is why I got it. And this might actually be my favorite book of hers yet. It's also a standalone, and I adore that because I don't like short, I don't like series sometimes. Sometimes I just want to read something and be done with it. So like I said, this isn't a fairy tale retelling, but it does have some elements of Princess and the Pea passing all of these tests, although there's not a pea test. Um, P-E-A or P-E-E. -E. Um, it also has some elements of Cinderella, Wicked Stepmother, her dad's dead, her mom died when she was a kid. So there are elements of some fairy tales, but you see that in any... I mean, fairy tales share elements all the time. Um, but I did really like this book. There, it is... There's so much that you don't realize is going to be in this book. It's one of those books that you read the summary and you're like, How is that this long? It shouldn't be but it was fantastic. Uh, there were so many twists, so many turns. There's just this huge cast of characters. Um, there's gremlins and imps and um, just so many people. There's her stepsisters, some of whom are horrible and one of whom is sort of not horrible, but also horrible. There's her stepmother who is horrible, obviously. Um, and it's so weird because you get so far into the book before she even gets cast out, which is the first thing that's mentioned in the summary. So there's so much going on and there's uh, more than one point of view, but it never becomes overwhelming. It's very well written, so you're never like, wait a minute, what did I just read? Except there are a couple of times where you're supposed to think that way. Overall, I really, really loved this book. I'm so glad that I found it. Although I'm a little sad that now that I have it, I can't pre-order it because there are some good pre-order goodies if you still haven't ordered yours. Um, I'll link that down below. Uh, it was on one of my, it was on the list of my top most anticipated books of 2019 uh, that I posted on my blog a couple weeks ago. I think it was also on my most anticipated books of January to be specific because I, I do one for each month. Um, it's such a good book. I highly recommend it. Even if you've never read A.G. Howard stuff before, I think you'll really like this. And like I said, it's very, very fairy tale inspired. But it's not a fairy tale retelling. It's not a retelling of a specific story. It's not a retelling the, of anything that you will really recognize. Although it has a lot of fairy tale elements in it. It has a lot of magic. It has witches. It has evil stepmothers. 
all that fun stuff. Um, the romance in it, you know, like me, usually I don't like romance. The romance is not overly done at all. It's a nice subplot, but the main story is still about Lyra and reclaiming her kingdom, and the romance all just fits very nicely, but it doesn't ever take over the book. Um, like all of A.G. Howard's works, although I would say I think there is less romance in Stain than in her Alice in Wonderland retelling. I still haven't read her Phantom of the Opera retelling, even though it's been out for like two years now. Unfortunately, she doesn't have her next book announced yet, so I have to wait and wait and wait and wait. So once again, I do highly, highly recommend this book to everyone. If you follow this channel, you theoretically like fantasy because that is 99% of what I talk about, so you should check this book out. Please support A.G. Howard. I love her. I want her to write more books. <laughs> if you liked this, please comment below. Let me know what you think of A.G. Howard. Let me know what you think of this book. Are you pre-ordering it? You should. Comment below, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much.